I'm going to show you how to duplicate items right now in Pal World. Now, this will probably get patched out eventually, so use it while you still can if you want to, if you're into this kind of thing. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be able to build something in your base. And there's a trick that we can do with the edge of your base border. So when you build a base with a Pal Box, a uh, Pal Box, how you make a base, I'm sure you know at this point. Uh, you'll see this blue ring around the outside. It determines the border of your base. And everything inside of that base is in the base basically so uh if you have a storage box for example and it has stuff in it if you put these like stones in here then you can build from the storage box anywhere inside of the base but if you run past this blue line and go out of the base then you can't build anything and the easiest way to see that is with something like this i can't build this right now it says i have none of the mats as soon as i walk over this blue line though now i have the mats and if i go to build it and you see all the stuff on the right i have all the materials but if I go over the blue line, I don't have the materials. Well, because of that, there's a not really frame perfect, but like a close to frame perfect trick you can do that will make it so it will duplicate your items. So we're going to cancel this. And what we're going to do is, and this is just for convenience here, is we're going to go inside so we can use our materials. We're going to build a storage box over here. And this is just for convenience sake. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So the one I'm going to do here, um, and this will work for anything. You can do the improved furnace. You can do sphere assembly lines. You can do breeding farm, pal essence condenser, anything you want to dupe, uh, you can dupe. So what happens is see the materials on the left, cloth, stone, palladium, fra or palladium fragments, or uh, refined ingots, circuit boards, nails, etc. Those are the materials that will get duped. So for example, this one, if I dupe this, I will get an extra 100 ingots, extra 50 wood, extra 20 nails, extra 10 high quality pal oil. So what we got to do is let's let's duplicate this, the production assembly line too. So we go to build it, and we get right up on the border of the blue line. You try to get it where it just, you keep tapping your way in until it is all lit up like that, and they're all white. What you're going to do is you're going to left-click to place it, and you're going to leave your base at the same time if you can. So something like this, and I don't know if I even got it correct or not. We'll about try to find out. So you go up and you cancel it then, and it gives you your materials back. So then you can stuff your materials in this box just for the sake of convenience. And then we can see if it duplicated it. So in that case, I did not duplicate it because I think uh, I didn't have enough acceleration here. So we got to start from further away and then maybe like that. And then we'll see if that worked. And you're just going to keep on trying this over and over and over again. But right there, I actually got it. I just duplicated the items. So it helps to get a running start because there's acceleration in this game. So you're going to go like this and you're going to start moving out and then try to click it on your way out. So if I can get it like, I'm trying to be a little bit too late on it. So you're going to go like, oh, this is really hard to do just right. Maybe like that. I don't know if it actually used it or not. Let's cancel that again. And that time it actually did use it though. And you'll you just keep trying like this over and over and over again until you get as many dupes as you want to get. Maybe that one will get it. We'll cancel. And the more you do it, the faster you'll get at it. Unfortunately, that did not duplicate it. Right, I think that one probably did it. Let's let's see that one. Yeah, there we go. I was heading out of it while I um, did it. Now, I don't know how this works single player versus multiplayer. I'm doing this on single player. It might be more trickier or easier on other servers. Like, I don't know. But yeah, something like that. And then hope that you get it. It's uh, kind of a tough one to land. It's like maybe not frame perfect, but it's close to it. But you see I've already got... That's faster than grinding those materials out manually. I can tell you that. So that just got me... I, I just made 300 more ingots, 60 more nails... And a ton of more high quality pal oil along with a bunch of wood so we can do this with literally anything in here that we can make so i can do the weapon workbench too and you can just do whatever things that you want to do same method applies and you just build it over and over and over again like that and just build it as walking as you're walking out of the border and then go up and cancel the build and if it do if done right it should duplicate your items this is extremely helpful later on when you get to more complicated materials like carbon fiber polymer ice not ice organs but circuit boards refined ingots things like that uh that's when it gets really really helpful because it starts to get more and more tedious to get these things to get quartz to get coal to go get all these other materials that you need and sulfur sometimes so hopefully it helps you out guys um my friend ape night gaming showed me this one and he wanted me to post about it over here too so that's it guys that is the duplication exploit i will link to his channel in the description below he also posted about it he's want to tip me off to it but there you guys go that is how to duplicate items as of right now until it gets patched out in power world